Hello and welcome to Musings by Amit. My name is Amit Patel and you are watching the live show Musings with Software Engineers. Sashike, uh, Sashike, I'm fresher from mechanical background, totally confused what to do. I'm thinking to join software field, but I don't know how this field works. And if I join in this field, will my life be settled? Okay. Uh, so look at this. Uh, this answer is for everyone who is thinking that as soon as you complete your college, your life will be settled. No. As soon as you complete your college, your struggles are going to start. And it does not mat matter whether you are a mechanical engineer. It does not matter whether you are a computer science engineer. It does not matter whether you choose the software engineering field or you choose the mechanical field or whichever department of engineering you belong to. Or even if you're not doing engineering, let us say you're doing BSc or BCA or you're doing BCom and you want to join the software industry. All these things are not going to matter. Okay. What is only going to matter is how did you complete your degree? Because at this point, what you have decided is that I want to be a mechanical engineer. Now, how did you spend this four years and how did you get this mechanical engineering degree? Just because if everybody is saying that, oh, there are no jobs in mechanical engineering, so they uh, shift to IT, then let me tell you this, that computer science has the most number of engineers coming out every year. Compared to that, the jobs are less. Okay. When you do mechanical engineering, okay, you will have a little bit of authority where, wherein uh, not a lot of people go and do mechanical engineering. Correct. So the competition will be less within mechanical engineering field. Okay. And you cannot just focus on mechanical engineering. You have to look at what is the next thing after mechanical engineering? And this is for any field. If you are from a traditional, any, any field that you are studying today, look at what is the advancement in that field. So for example, what is the advancement in mechanical engineering field? And can you then focus on that advancement either by staying in the mechanical engineering field or by learning something extra beyond mechanical engineering. I'll give you a very simple example. Let's say you are a mechanical engineer. So you understand how the mechanics work. Now you want to work for an automobile company, something like a BMW or Mercedes Benz or, uh, or Tesla or some company, which is now focusing on automation within, mechan within the mechanical engineering field, where they are thinking how to merge the software with your mechanical and you like doing software. So you go and also get a certification for software development. And then you merge this field and show it to your automobile uh, companies that look, I am a mechanical engineer, but I also have a certification in programming and I can do the programming that is required. Then these companies will be really happy to hire you out. Okay. So remember this, that the world is moving towards specialization. Okay. And don't think about settle, getting settled because if you have this feeling of getting settled, then what is going to happen after you come out of your college, there will be a lot of frustration. Instead of that, think about that you are preparing for the challenges of tomorrow. So today when you are in the college, you only think about what, whatever subjects are there in front of you and try to gain as much knowledge as you can within your subjects. Okay. When you actually have a degree in hand, when you actually come out of college at that point of time, you will at that point of time where we are in the world, because the world keeps changing, technologies keep changing, things will keep changing today. What is important may become obsolete tomorrow. Okay. So when you come out with your degree at that point of time, what is important that thing you start focusing on. Okay. And your engineering degree will prepare you to become a learner. So become an active learner. Okay. So when you come out of college 
at that time you have to understand that there can be struggle if you go with a settled uh, attitude then that can become a point of frustration if you go with an attitude that i'm preparing for my future and let me prepare as much as possible let me find out what is the specializations within my field and then focus on these specialization then what will happen is you will be job ready right from day one okay gain some additional skills beyond just mechanical engineering like your skills of communication your skills of making friends your skills of managing some projects your skills of uh, doing some some kind of r and d so all these skills you gather these skills during your study it is a time where you are enhancing your capabilities okay so you enhance your capabilities you become best in your capabilities that is the best way to become good in whatever you are doing okay so i hope that answers uh, your question and this this answer is for everyone it does not matter which field you are in okay give me one field where there is no struggle give me one field and i would say there is no field okay don't go by all these fancy advertisements which say that oh this 23 year old is now doing so and so thing and he is very successful ask that person what did he sacrifice for that particular thing okay and you will know that struggle okay nothing can be achieved without a struggle okay and you can make the struggle easy by gaining knowledge and becoming better in your everyday day to day work that is the how to become better in everything that you do but if you think that there is a, there is going to be uh, some kind of settling uh, the only people i see settled are people who retire that is after the age of 60 after the age of 60 there is no ambition there are no goals uh, maybe you already have your own house maybe you have some money in the bank and maybe you have done everything that is possible in your life you have lived a very adventurous life after that you can live a settled life okay you can live a comfortable life you can live a life of abundance you can live a life in which your uh, job is secure you can live a life where you you know what you are going to do in career but all this happens with your own work it does not happen because you are in mechanical it does not happen because you are in software development it happens because you are taking the actions which are required to make this career better okay i hope this this helps you shashi uh, i am going to link all the videos that i have talked about in this video uh, the program that i have talked about a players is also in the description of this video at the end screen you will see some video you can go and watch that video so you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you get all the updates